Hi, and welcome to this Matt Pilates class that is focused on the hips and pelvic floor. It may be if you suffer from hip bursitis or pelvic floor weakness, a lot of the same exercises. So we're going to focus on this whole pelvic region all at once. All exercises are performed on the mat. Grab a pillow if you need some support for your head or neck. If not, we will get started. Gently lowering yourself to the floor, one vertebrae at a time. We're going to start nice and slow with a spinal implant. So hands are relaxed at our sides. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. All we're going to do is contract the abdominals and press this lower back so we're reducing the space in between our back and the floor. We contract the abdominals. Think about bringing your lower rib cage and your hip bones together and then relax. Exhale, press the lower back into the floor, tighten the abdominals, and relax. Let's do this a few more times. We're waking up our core here. Think about drawing, relax, everything up and in. Pull it up and in, draw the navel in and relax again it doesn't look like much but we're waking all this up let's do one more <sighs> tighten everything and then release hands at our sides relax relax the head neck and shoulders walk the feet in a little closer to your bum pressing through the heels let's peel up here into a glute bridge squeezing the glutes and then slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Peeling it down nice and slow. Again, lift up, squeezing those glutes, tightening the core, sucking everything up and in. Lower it down again. Strong glutes and strong abdominals help stabilize our hips. Hold it here. Now I want you to rock the hips side to side while we hold them up. So lifting that little hips an inch and an inch. Think about taking turns squeezing each side of your butt. Come back to center. Make sure those hips are level. And again, slowly release it down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Press it up into that glute bridge. Pull everything up and in. Close the rib cage. Let's lift the hips side and side, side and side. Squeeze the glutes for four, three, two, one. Return to center. One more lift, one more squeeze. Lower it down. Nice and slow. If that didn't wake it up, I don't know what did. Let's straighten both of our legs. Keeping our hips nice and stable. We're going to pick up one knee. Let it fall out to the side, making sure your both hip bones are level and that your sit bones stay on the floor. We slide it down. We turn it back to center. We lift it up. Let it fall to the side and slide it down. And we lift, open up that hip, and lift, open side, slide it down. Two more times, we lift it up, keeping everything nice and still, so we've really gotta tighten that core pressing our other hip into the floor and lift and side and then slowly lower down same thing other side lift that knee up let it fall to the side slide it back down so as we slide the leg back down it comes from a turned out position back to turned in so we're rotating in that hip socket. Check in with that core. Keep everything pulled in here. Nice and tight. 
Keep breathing too, though. And we left. Fall to the side. Lower down. And lift. Side. This is our last one on this side. And we lower down. Back to our first leg. Let's pull that knee in and extend that leg up. Small circles here at the angle to the outside. So just a little bit larger than maybe a dinner plate. Circle it around. One more time to the outside. And let's reverse circle. Again, using our other hip here, our other side to help stabilize us. Hold that leg up. Let's bend the other knee, foot on the floor. Small leg lift here. We drop the leg, and then we lift about three quarters of the way back up. So our knees are matched. Lower and lift. Lower, lift. Two more like this. Lift the leg a little bit further to feel beautiful stretch in the back of your leg. If you can, reach in the back of the leg. Curl up the head, neck, and shoulders here for a little crunch and stretch. Inhale. Exhale, lower down the head. Bend the knee and extend it straight to the floor. The other leg comes in. We extend it up, starting with those circles to the outside. Out and in. Pull the belly button in. Slow, small, and controlled. Let's reverse. One more. Hold up, bending our other leg. Lower that leg, and we kick it up three quarters of the way. Lower and left. Two more like this. Last one. All the way up. Reach behind the leg if you can. We curl up the head, neck, and shoulders. Little crunch, little stretch. That feels good. And then slowly lower the head back down. Bend the knee and extend. Both knees are bent, feet on the floor. Let's hug both knees in, relaxing that lower back, relaxing the hips. Little rock and roll if that feels good to you. Lower the hands to your shins, almost to your ankles, and let's go ahead and open up our knees into a little frog stretch here. Make sure the lower back is pressed into the floor. Knees are coming out to the side. Let's extend them a little further away from us, really opening up those hips. Press the shoulders down and back. Inhale. And exhale. Relax into the stretch. Hold it here one more time, big inhale. And exhale. Let's close those knees together and let them fall to the side and we'll come onto our side body here. We're going to support our head and our hand. Unless you have um, some spinal issues or osteoporosis, you could come all the way down here to keep the spine in a straight line. You do you. Knees are bent and about at a 45 degree angle. Let's start with clamshells, keeping the soles of the feet, the sides of the feet together. We open up our top leg and close it down. Again, core is tight. Hips are stacked right on top of the other. And we're not rocking back at all using this nice glute muscle right here to open up the leg it's okay if it doesn't come that far but wake up those muscles two more like this Keeping the bottom knee bent, let's extend that top leg. Knee is facing forward. We're going to lift the leg and lower. Again, it doesn't matter how high it is. Lift 
and lower. You should still be feeling this right here in the side of that hip and that glute. Hold it here. Now I want you to turn that leg out. So rotate from in that hip. So think about your knee going towards the ceiling. It's not going to, but I want you to rotate. Lift the leg from here. Maybe it doesn't go as high and that's okay. Keeping those hips level, trying not to rock back. Relax it, take a little break. Now we're gonna do one and one, switching with that rotation. So forward, we lift the leg, turn out, lift the leg. Forward, lift the leg, turn it out, lift the leg. I know, forward, we don't have many. Out, just do what you can. These get easier the more you do it. So good for you. And forward and lift, last one. Turn out and lift. Bring those knees together. Give that a little bit of love if you need to. And let's switch to the other side. Either coming all the way down with a neutral spine or supporting your head. Knees again, bent at 45 degree angle, making sure one hip stacked directly on top of the other. Here we go, opening up that top leg and lower and lift and lower. You might notice that you're able to go further one side than the other. This seems to be my more flexible side. Totally normal. We've got four, three. Keep drawing that belly button in, supporting everything here. Excellent. Extend the leg out, knee facing me. Lift the leg and lower. Hold here. Now we rotate from the hip knee towards the ceiling, lift and lower here, two more like this, bring it in, take a little break, then we have our combination one and one, now you know what to expect, here we go, one leg lift, knee forward, rotate, knee up, rotate down, and left, up and left forward lift and lift i know it's warm forward lift last one you got this and relax down nice job all right coming back to our back relaxing head neck and shoulders again Hands are also relaxed, palms down on the mat. Again, press that lower back into the floor. Maybe come up onto your toes, and we're simply going to lower our knees side to side. So this is great for the obliques, which are the sides of our waist. Feels great on the lower back, and we're stretching those hips. At your own pace, taking those knees gently side to side core is still engaged we're still pulling everything in and holding it nice and tight let's do one more each side and we come back to center maybe walk in one more inch and then press the soles of your feet together and allow the hips or the knees to fall out to the side, opening up the hips into a little butterfly position. Hold the stretch here. Again, lower back pressed in. Nice, firm tummy here. Let's take those knees up and out. So again, we're a little butterfly here. 
make sure you're breathing. You can inhale as the knees come down. Exhale as they come together. And because where our feet are turned out here, your knees won't touch. And pull it in. Let's do three. Keep pressing the lower back into the ground. Okay, in our last one, open up those knees, completely relax and just let them fall to the side. Feeling a beautiful stretch in those inner thighs, opening up your hips. Maybe if you need to support those knees with a yoga block or a pillow, hold that stretch here. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. On our exhale, we push the soles of our feet together and then we lift our hips into a glute bridge here, but our knees are turned out to the side to squeeze those glutes. Hold here. Then lower down, starting from the middle of your back all the way one vertebrae at a time. Nice job, that took a lot of balance and core strength. Take the knees back in together and hug those knees in. Nice job. Lower those feet back down to the floor, coming into my favorite figure four stretch. I'm gonna turn that knee out, bringing the side of the foot above the knee on the opposite leg. For a deeper stretch, we lift that bottom leg, grasping behind the thigh if you can, gently hugging that knee in. You're gonna feel a beautiful stretch all the way up your side here, into the glute, into your hip. You can deepen the stretch by taking your same elbow and gently pushing your leg further out to the side. This is one of those hurts so good. Inhale. Exhale, flex that top foot. Beautiful job taking the same leg. Let's cross it all the way over. And if you're able to, take a closer grip here down towards your shins, pulling those knees in. Ooh, getting deeper into that hip. And now we're gonna take those legs away from us, allowing your hip to roll off the floor. And getting really nice and deep into that hip. And we come back to center. Uncross the legs, drop both feet to the floor again. Good job, let's reset here. Inhale. Exhale. Lower back pushes into the floor, implanting that spine. Other leg crosses top of that knee. Let's lift up the lower leg. Gently hug it in. And if it's comfortable for you, using your elbow to take that knee further out to the side. Deep breaths here at your own pace. Give it a little wiggle maybe. Do you find that sweet spot? Allowing it to relax. When you're ready, we're going to take that same leg crossing all the way over. And if you're able to, reaching further down or maybe just grab your pant legs, hug the knees in a little closer. And this time, rolling to the other side, allowing the hip to rock off the floor. As I said before in my videos, a good stretch is not painful, but it's a little bit uncomfortable. We want to work on that flexibility. It's important to push yourself a little. And let's come back to center. We uncross. One more time, hug those knees in. Feet to the floor. Drop the knees to the side, and we're going to push ourselves up into a hands and knees position to finish our exercises. Doing a cat cow, but this time slightly modified. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. All I want you to do this time is to round the lower back 
right here in the spine and not the upper back. So we're just going to do a little pelvic tilt here. Again, belly button draws in. And then relax and let the hips sway back. Pelvic tilt. Rest of the spine stays neutral. Head is down, just gazed a few inches in front of your hands. And then relax. Allow the hips to come up again. Again, belly button in. Tuck that pelvis. Pull everything up and in. And relax back. Let's do this one more time. Tuck that pelvis. And release. Staying here, I want you to turn like you're trying to look over your bum behind you, forming a little C curve here in the side, like you're glancing over your shoulder. Coming back to center, and then the other side, looking over the other shoulder. Come back to center. Let's do that one more time each side. That should feel really nice on your back. And feeling a stretch in those hips again. We're just going at it from every angle here. We come back to center, lower the hips down onto the heels, walk the hands forward into a child's pose. Big inhale here. Exhale, lowering your forehead to the mat if that's comfortable for you. Again, big inhale. Exhale, let's peel it up nice and slow, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming up to a seated position. And then we're gonna finish the 90-90 lunge here. So each knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. If your foot is a little bit wider, you'll be a little bit more stable. We tuck the hips, tuck the pelvis, and then lunge forward as much as you are comfortable with, feeling a great stretch in that hip flexor. And let's come back to neutral. Lowering the hand to the thigh or to the floor if it reaches. And let's take a nice spinal twist all the way up. Again, feeling nice stretch in that hip and glute, opening up the chest. We come back to center and help yourself up and let's switch sides. Other leg comes forward. 90-90 with those knees. Shoulders down and back, core engaged, lunge forward. And where I want you to feel this is in that hip flexor. Come back to neutral arm on the thigh or to the floor and a big torso twist reach up inhale exhale we come back to center let's lower ourselves back down on the floor one more time come to a seated position whichever way is comfortable for you inhale Exhale, straight spine. I just want you to walk forward, releasing any last tension in the hips and in the lower back. Drop the chin. We round and roll up one vertebrae at a time, finishing with the shoulders. Inhale, arm comes up and over. Release it back down up and over release it back down and let's do one more butterfly stretch soles of the feet together shoulders down and back knees fall where they naturally do with a straight spine a slight hinge over and come on back Big inhale to finish. And exhale lower. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you feel amazing. I hope you've built some strength. 
loosen any tight areas. Thank you for joining me. Appreciate you working out with me. Leave a comment, let me know how you liked this workout and what other workouts you're looking forward to. We'll see you next time.